In this video, I will give a brief introduction to what theoretical physicists mean by quantum gravity and why they are so interested in it. In one word, quantum gravity is the missing puzzle piece in our understanding of the universe. In order to find this piece, one needs to combine quantum theory and general relativity, the two theories which have revolutionized physics in the 20th century. <laughs> quantum theory describes the behavior of matter over very small distances, for instance the interaction of elementary particles. One needs to look very closely to be able to see this, but on very short length scales matter behaves very strange and counterintuitive. It is, for instance, inherently fuzzy. This means it is impossible to know both position and speed of a particle at the same time with 100% accuracy. The more accurate information you have about one, the more uncertain you necessarily are about the other. As strange as quantum theory sounds, it has a staggering record of correctly predicting the outcome of experiments, so physicists have learned to live with it. Now gravity you know from everyday life. It's the force that makes apples fall off trees. But in fact it is much more than that. The gravitational attraction between bodies is just a consequence of the way in which space, time and matter interact with each other. By the theory of general relativity, the geometry of space and time becomes distorted by large masses. In turn, bodies which move in the curved space-time appear as if they are influenced by gravitational attraction. The distortion of geometry means, for instance, that in the vicinity of extremely heavy objects, the sum of the three angles in a triangle can be different from 180 degrees. Also, there can be regions in space which are bigger on the inside than can be seen from the outside. And general relativity explains why time in the orbits of the GPS satellites runs a little bit faster than on the surface of the Earth, which is actually quite important for the accuracy of the GPS. So although it sounds like science fiction, it has actual real-world applicability. Now, while both quantum theory and general relativity greatly advanced our understanding of physics, they were steps in different directions. To describe the phenomena of everyday life, which are quite large compared to an atom and not very heavy compared to a galaxy, good old classical physics is sufficient. General relativity, however, describes the gravitational force between very massive objects, but only if they are large enough so that their quantum properties are not important. Quantum theory, on the other hand, accurately describes what happens at small length scales, but only if the matter involved is light enough so that the gravitational interaction can be neglected. But what about situations in which objects are involved that are very heavy and very small at the same time? Then the quantum fuzziness not only of particles, but of space and time itself should become important. To describe such a situation, we need a theory of quantum gravity, which combines both quantum theory and general relativity. Now, to understand most physical phenomena, quantum theory and general relativity are sufficient. But from a philosophical point of view, this gap in our description of nature is very unsatisfactory. Having a theory of quantum gravity would close this gap and bring us one step closer to understanding the universe. And in fact, there are phenomena in nature in which both quantum and gravity effects should be important. In black holes, for instance, the mass of an entire star is compressed into the space of less than an atom. Another example, nearly 14 billion years ago, at the Big Bang, the entire mass of the universe was concentrated into an equally tiny space just before the universe started to expand rapidly. During the Big Bang, quantum gravity effects should have been very important. We understand very little about the center of black holes or the true nature of the Big Bang precisely because we don't have a theory of quantum gravity. And that is why physicists are so interested in it. They hope that they'll be able to solve some of the last questions about nature. What happens at the center of a black hole? What precisely is dark matter? Why is the cosmic microwave background so uniformly distributed? And finally, was there anything before the Big Bang? The universe is large and mysterious, and there's a lot of stuff out there we don't know yet. There's a good chance that finding a theory of quantum gravity will help us understand a bit more of it.